Yeah. Andrei Shevchenko is not just one of the great footballers of modern times. He's also arguably Ukraine's greatest ever sportsman, uh, until recently coach of the Ukrainian national team. And needless to say, somebody who has a finger very much on the pulse of what is happening. Sheva, uh, it's lovely to see you. And thank you so much uh, for joining us on the Dan Nichols Show at a, at a really difficult time. Give us a, a sense of what the last couple of months have been like for you and for your family. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Dan. And, you know, it's been uh, very, very, very difficult for, for me, especially for my family, for my country. Is a situation uh, actually is getting worse. And we're, face, we're facing some war against Russia. It's a lot of terrible things my country went through. Is uh, so many civilian people been dying. The Russian troops in attacking us, uh, bombing the city, bombing civilian people, killing the kids. And um, the situation is very, very difficult. But uh, my country gloriously defending. Uh, my people is very united and we try and everything to to win to win this battle especially for freedom of our country to give our future generation some different life it's heartbreaking to watch it all play out, Sheva, and we, we see here in South Africa the news every day, the stories that come through. Uh, is there anything that, that gives you a, a shred of hope that maybe there there is an end in sight, that maybe uh, the horizon isn't quite as bleak as the, the present currently looks? You know, telling the truth, I, I don't believe in, uh, in a peace talk. I think... Uh, Especially in in, in next month, so probably everything been decided in a in a battle. And like I said, we need to be ready for for everything. And then our army defend gloriously. And I think I can see only way to to win this war. This be together and you know, try everything what we can uh, to help the sold help soldiers, help the refugees, send in the humanitarian aid and believe in in something that's gonna change for us. We feel a, a very long way away from everything down here in the, the tip of Africa, Sheva. Uh, but I know there are ways people can help, people can support, and in particular uh, with some support from the Laurier Sport for Good Foundation, there is a fund that is helping out, that is sending aid the way of Ukraine. Uh, how's that working? How can people support it from around the world? You know, the, the Laurier's Foundation for Good has been uh, incredibly uh, helpful. The work has been... Uh, incredibly uh, well done and they've been sending so many humanitarian aid uh, uh, you know we need every support we need uh, support uh, food food medical uh, helping with the uh, refugees is is a critical moment but uh, thank you for support you know we we feel this um, incredible support from uh, every country in the world. The uh, details are on screen at the moment. If you'd like to have a look, that's how you can uh, go and have a look at this particular fund, try and help it out. Uh, and Sheva, we hope as many people as can will be joining in and assisting. Uh, and it's a, it's a wall that's had such an impact on so many different spaces and one that's particularly close to you has not been immune in football. Uh, what do you make of the situation at Chelsea, a club uh, I know you spent some very happy times at? Yeah, you know, there's... Uh some tough moment for the Chelsea, but I think the club definitely go through. Uh, you know, you can cancel everything what Chelsea been uh, achieved in the last 20 years, but uh, uh, definitely some changes is coming. And, uh, you know, the, the sport world been uh, very united 
in this difficult moment uh, for Ukraine and been a lot of help. And also the uh, institution like UEFA, FIFA and Olymp Olympic Committee and been, uh, you know, staying behind Ukraine, helping the Ukrainian athletes and uh, especially creating pro program for refugees and this everything what we need now is is feel some support from from all the world the other team that we are uh, used to seeing you with is the Ukrainian team as a player for many years, but also last year, uh, until last year, you were the coach. How much would it mean to you, to the people of Ukraine, if you were able to get through those last couple of qualifiers and despite everything that's happened in the last couple of months, make it to the World Cup? You know, in this moment, uh, you know the the players you just get out from uh, from the country you start uh, some uh, playing some preparation game a, a more charity game but uh, in next from next month i think the players going to go to the camp and they start to preparing uh, obviously you know everything have to be decide in in a football pitch in game against Scotland uh, you get very important and crucial for for, for, for both teams but I hope you know Ukrainian player uh, have enough time to preparing and of course uh, uh, for us it's gonna be uh, some special and different uh, game we try to to play special especially for our country, for our people. Uh, Sheva, we, uh, I think we'll all be wearing Ukrainian jerseys as our second jersey uh, for those last few games. It would be a, a wonderful story if you did make it through to the World Cup. Speaking of World Cups, uh, I can't let you go uh, without shifting to a, a very important question. And a lot of South Africans will want me to ask you this. Uh, South Africa's not at the World Cup. Our last game we played against France, we didn't do quite so well. If we were able to get you a membership at Leopard Creek, could we persuade you you to come out to South Africa, coach Bafana Bafana, take over and maybe get us to the next World Cup. You know, when you t when you talk about golf, uh, you make me smile. <laughs> the only way uh, to have a li 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 little bit of smile on my face, but I, you know, I'm, I all my work now, all my uh, mind, to anything what I think now, you just try to help my country you know be close to my people and i'm here in london and tomorrow i'm going to italy try to raise the money try to help the refugees and uh, the sport now for me uh, especially in this moment is is coming on a secondary time i only think about uh, this war how i can help my country but uh, thank you very much for all your support, and it was great to see you. Oh, Sheva, we can only send you uh, all of our love and thoughts and, and prayers that somehow this has a, a quick ending and is as peaceful as possible. Uh, keep strong, and congratulations. You've done uh, amazing stuff on the football field, uh, but I think this legacy you're creating and in supporting your country is uh, even more important. Good luck with it. Keep strong, and uh, I know that uh, you and your family and your countrymen are, are in our thoughts, and, uh, and we're wishing you the very best. Thank you very much, and take care. There we go. Andre Shevchenko, everybody on the line from London.